Hello and welcome to the 13th video in this beginner series making an application uh, using Vue.js and Vuetify. So last video then we got our wonderful dialog showing when we click on a player. I'd like in this video to change the title here to the actual player's name and then just show the player's object basically as plain text inside here so that we've actually got the stuff available ready to draw our graph later on. So if this won't be too complicated we are going to make some changes. I'm inside uh, index.html and the first thing is I want to be able to know what the player was that we selected and the good thing is that we've got in our v4 here the player object and what we're going to need to do is in our click here instead of setting player dialog equals uh, true I actually want to make a new function here and I want to call this open player dialog and I'm actually going to send into this function as an argument the player that I'm actually looping through on the list so the, the player object um, and that unfortunately has wrapped around so I'm just going to press this here so it's a bit easier for you to read so in this table row here instead of setting what was it player dialog uh, is equal to true I'm actually going to call a new function which I haven't declared yet sending in the player as an argument and then inside that function I'll set player dialog is equal to true so if I just go into scripts.js I want to add on then at the end of toggle details here I'm going to add in my new function I'm just going to make some space so everything doesn't start crowding down the bottom of the screen which makes things difficult so I'm going to make a new function then called open player dialog and so then be a function and in this case we're not going to be empty we're just going to take our player in like so so as our player object will be passed when we click on the table the relevant table row here it'll send our player in for us and we'll have that ready to go what I'm going to do now just very quickly is just do console.log and actually log our player so that we can make sure in the console that the player is exactly what we've selected like so and then what I'll do is also I'm going to make a new variable as part of our data object here and I'm going to call that selected player and that's the that's going to be set to and I'm going to set this to null for now or sorry I'll set it actually to undefined for now and that'll be set to whatever we've actually selected uh, our player object that's passed to our function further down here so I'm just going to at this function and also say that this dot uh, selected player and there's a capital L that I don't want in there so I'm just going to correct that here and correct that here as well this dot selected player then is equal to our player that's actually come through the last thing I need to do though still is I still need to actually open the dialog so what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to say that this dot player dialog is equal to true so this will still have the effect of opening my dialog so if I just go back into the application refresh and hope I haven't made any really silly errors as I have done a few times in preparing this video already load some data let's load uh, Argentina and now I'm going to select a player and you can see on the right hand side in the console then that I have indeed uh, if I look at the name selected Sergio Aguero in this case so this object is existing and now my selected player will be this object so the only thing I need to do then is actually display this object inside my dialog um, now what I need to want to do here is inside the title instead of having use Google's lo uh, location service let's actually have the player dot name so we're going to say that we're going to take our selected player dot name now the problem is when the program starts of course we won't have a player selected so I'm actually going to put on this whole VE dialog because it actually gets rendered we just don't see it I'm going to put a VIF again as I have done before and see I only render this when we've actually got a selected player otherwise in the console we're going to get some horrible red text even though we don't see the dialog so this is exactly the same as we did with um, I can't remember now I think it was the table or no it was this V content here selected country we're going to do the same thing here our dialog is actually get rendered we'll just never see it and it gets displayed on the screen from the start so we'll make sure it doesn't get rendered until we've actually got a player I'm going to make it slightly bigger just for now 400 as well and so what we'll have here is the player name so I'll just say prefix this with data for and then a colon like so so that we have um, something looking a bit neater for the title and then in the text here I want to actually just show the selected player object so I'm going to copy this here and just paste this in here take this off here and that should be all we actually need to see the title of our player etc inside 
our dialog. So I'm just going to refresh everything here and see what happens. Select a nation, it's Argentina. Let's uh, select Messi this time. And now you can see we've got our dialog with data for Lionel Messi and then all of the various properties of the object of Lionel Messi. Then I can go just for one last check. Let's go to Germany and select uh, Matt Hummels. And here we've got Matt Hummels and all the attributes for him as well, which we'll use to draw our graph in later on in the series. OK, then, so that video I thought would turn out a lot more complicated than it is, but it's relatively simple. It's again, it's a really nice thing about how view is structured and beautify doing what looks complicated or what can look complicated is actually relatively simple. Um, you got any problems or any confusions or anything like that, then please don't hesitate to drop me a line. As always, comments, questions, criticisms, welcome uh, below the video. Otherwise, see you in the next one.